One of the things that has health experts so worried about the COVID-19 pandemic is the fact that this coronavirus is new. Uh, unlike the flu or other diseases, we simply don't have any treatments or vaccines developed for it. But today we're going to talk to one researcher who is developing a vaccine for this disease and is so confident that it'll work, he's going to do the first injection on himself. So if I'm understanding correctly, you're taking the VSV virus, giving it the gene that produces the, the spike protein, which is something that's unique to uh, the COVID-2 virus, and that will train, my, like if you inject it in me, it would train my immune system uh, to attack COVID-2 without actually giving me any risk of <laughs> getting the disease myself. Absolutely. So uh, that's, that's the correct, Alex. So what I'm doing is uh, taking the S gene, the entire S gene, the spike protein gene, put that into the VSV. So we are making recombinant VSV. That recombinant VSV, when we immunize that as a vaccine, will produce that's the spike protein, and that, that protein will train us or educate our immune system to antibodies. That antibody will neutralize real virus. Uh, that's, so that's how the vaccine works. So that's our approach. And uh, we have done it already with the most coronavirus using the spike protein genes. And I have uh, uh, total confidence that it's going to work just as uh, the Merck coronavirus was working. And um, I'm curious, uh, with at least what you anticipate and with the work that you've done so far, will this be a vaccine that, you know, I might only take once or twice in my lifetime, or is it something that I might have to get booster shots for? Um, do we know enough uh, uh, to know about that yet? So we will have uh, two immunizations to get the proper immune responses. And the two in prime and booster vaccination should establish very good immune responses. Now, how long will this immune response or the protective period last? We don't know. Uh, after we have to wait and see uh, how well we are protected for the future. So, and I know this clinical trial, um, it, because you're fast tracking it, would be focused on efficacy. Um, but are there any safety concerns that, that you see with this platform and in the work you've done on other vaccines, or uh, does it seem relatively safe? For this platform technology, is relatively safe and therefore I, I will volunteer for first injection. Just out of curiosity, what does the timeline for developing this vaccine look like? Like when do you expect to, you know, take that first shot <laughs> and, and, and start testing with people? Well, I can only hope for it. We are doing almost the work 24-7, but you know, we can get this vaccine and put it into my arm in three months. In three months? Wow. And, and then how long um, will it take then to go through the, the clinical trial process? Would you expect, um, you know, best case scenario, you know, when, when would this be available? Well, this, this can go with the fast track process. Normally, if you develop a vaccine, it has to go through the preclinical animal tests and then safety tests and all that before you can give it to a human. But the, since uh, we are in crisis and this pandemic, I don't know how widely it's going to infect the whole world. Uh, in this scenario, we may be able to get the permission to test in humans very fast. 